All right, so uh, let's go over how we do an insertion into a linked list. Uh, I've got the cat here to help uh, if needed. Um, so the, the, the trick behind insertion, um, insertion and removal kind of have some similar features. So in general, uh, let's think about what our algorithm is going to be here. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we need to find the right spot. And the right spot turns out to not be the place where we want to insert, but it's the previous item in the list. So, you know, if we want to insert something in position five, the, uh, we need to set that item as the next uh, reference on position four. Um, so essentially we're gonna walk the list to right before we actually want to do the insertion. Um, when you do insertions at the beginning, it's a little bit of a special case. And that one's actually already done because we've been using that as part of the constructor. Um, so we're gonna walk the list to the right spot and then we have a couple of references that we need to, to move around. Um, so let's look at how this actually works. So let's imagine that this is our list to start with where we have the items five, eight, and one, uh, and we want to insert item seven at index one. Um, and so the trick here is that, you know, the, the place that we actually want to do the, in, the modify the reference is the previous item. If we get to the item with index one, we're stuck because we can't modify the previous item's reference. Um, and so we're going to walk the list to uh, item five, okay? Then we're going to create this new item using new. We have to create a new item as part of this. Um, and now we just have some references we need to move around. So there's two references we need to change. The first one is we need to make sure that the next reference on item five, the preceding element, um, is set to item seven. But we also need to change item seven's next reference to refer to the rest of the list. If we don't do this, then we are then then we have a problem because now we have a list, we've cut off the rest of it. It only has two elements left, right? It should have four. Um, and so I find the right spot. I uh, create a new item. I set the, the previous item's next reference to the new item that I just created. And I set the new item's next reference to the rest of the list, right? And actually that's what, um, now you have to be careful about how you do this. Um, if you don't do this carefully, it's very easy to kind of lose a reference to the rest of the list and then you're kind of stuck, right? Um, and so here, that's what things look like when we're done, right? Uh, all right, so let's go through this one more time. Um, we're gonna find the right spot. We're gonna set the reference on the preceding item. And then we also have to set the reference on the new item to refer to the rest of the list. Um, okay, so the right spot turns out to be the item before the item we want to insert. Uh, we're going to set its next reference. We're going to create this new item with, with value 7. We'll set its next reference appropriately. And then, uh, sorry, we set the next reference of the preceding item appropriately to refer to this new item. And then we set the next reference on the new item to refer to the rest of the list. So this turns out to not really require too many lines of code, but it's tricky. Uh, so give yourself some time to get this right uh, and good luck.